Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. I'm outside Liberty Stadium where it was Swansea 2, Tottenham Hotspur 2. I've got Nathan and Adam with me. Nathan, you seem a little disappointed. I feel like that was a good result. It was. It was a good result, but we should have won that. They, let's be realistic. They were lucky because they got an own goal yeah. to put them into the lead to make it 2-1. We should have taken our chances, but... Yeah, um, just as some fans go by singing Deli Ali's name, what do you make of him? He's, he's got to be the best player we signed for a long time. No, it just goes to show you, if you give local talent a chance, that they do uh, produce five million scenes of barking. You can see that uh, Baldini spent uh, 100 million on players, a lot worse, six times the price, and he's the one who's put in the effort. But I think overall, looking at today's response, if you would have told me before the Man City game, four points off of Swansea away, Man City home, you would have took it. But my only concern is, is that the alternative to Harry Kane, if he's not firing, like we the alternative isn't very good, is it, really? No, I know what you're saying. Uh, but going into the international break, it's good to keep the momentum up, not having lost since the first game, isn't it? Yes, it is, because we're still unbeaten since the first game of the season. Yeah. Um, and we can go as far as we can in the league, because we should aim as far as we can get. Yeah. Not just fifth place, not just fourth place either. We can he try and get further. He fancy us to go even further up. And just a quick word about Eric Dyer. I thought Eric Dyer had another brilliant game in the midfield today. Yeah, I think that we finally found his uh, position. I thought centre half for 21 is quite uh, shaky. I think Alderweireld and Fatonga are the solid centre halves, and him playing in front of them, I think that's a system that will work well. And I think, like you said about the one defeat, in eight, I think it's important because everyone's dropping points, aren't they? So overall, I think you would take that if you said one defeat in uh, eight matches. So it's like I say, uh, move on to the next game. Absolutely. Good positivity there, guys. Let us know if you agree with what they had to say in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter at TV. Thanks, guys.